kissing in hey guys the welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be one that has been super super requested and it is my updated foundation routine now i know that i just came out with a foundation routine almost exactly three months ago and that is my pre-accutane foundation routine i will pop some pictures up on the screen my skin was horrendous absolutely horrible it was pretty much i would say 80 percent acne 20 percent skin um very 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 problematic skin and i showed you guys how i covered it on a daily basis now that i am on accutane a lot of you guys have seen firsthand how my skin has transformed and obviously i don't need that full full coverage anymore so a lot of you guys have been requesting to see what i do now on a daily basis as my foundation routine with that being said i still love and swear by the products that i showed you guys in that last video so i still do use a lot of them I just use them a little bit differently and I added in a few more things and took out a couple of things if that makes any sense and yeah that's pretty much it make sure that you guys stay tuned to my Accutane update videos my skin has absolutely transformed I'm telling you guys world 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 of a difference my skin is not perfect just yet but it is definitely almost perfect compared to what I had before so make sure to stay tuned to those updates I will link the playlist down below and if you guys want to see what I do as my foundation routine every single day now then just keep on watching all right my love so let's get started so first off you guys can see the extreme difference in my skin I totally have my skin has absolutely transformed and I am over the moon about it um, I do have a lot of redness still and some hyperpigmentation that I need to cover up but I am by no means complaining because my skin is absolutely amazing compared to what it looked like um, I am hundred percent comfortable going out without any makeup nowadays but you guys know me I still even when I'm running to the supermarket and stuff if I have time I prefer to put on like a 5-10 minute face that's just the type of person that I am so I do have five things on my face right now and the reason that I did put these things on my face already is because what I like to do is first thing when I wake up really though really you right back. You knew that had to happen, right? Okay, so anyway, like I was saying, I like to put these five things on my face from the minute that I wake up after I wash my face because I don't really like to apply my foundation right after these products are applied. I kind of like them to set in my, my face, my skin, my pores <laughs> for about 15 minutes before I move on to my actual makeup. So the first thing that I do is I moisturize my skin after washing it and I am going to be coming up with an updated skincare routine while on Accutane, but that is another video. So in my last foundation routine, I told you guys that I could not moisturize because everything was breaking me out. I don't have that problem anymore. I don't know what miracle Accutane is, but now I am able to use moisturizer and the one that I am using is the one from acne.org. It is just called their basic moisturizer. I will have a link to everything down below. Not affiliated, not working with any of these brands mentioned today. After I apply that, I kind of massage it into my skin and then I go over with the same Juice Beauty Hydrating Mist which is the same one that I showed in my last foundation routine pre-Accutane. And this is basically just a very, very hydrating mist. It has no water in it. It's a mix of organic juices, um, such as grape juice, aloe juice, vegetable, glycerin, um, rose oil extract, a whole bunch of amazing moisturizing things for your face. My skin is super, super dry now, so now I need lots of moisture. After that, I move on to moisturizing underneath my eyes, and what I'm using right now is the old, old, it is the Olay Bright On Schedule Eye Awakening Cream. This is not as good as the one that I showed you guys in my last foundation routine, which is from Tarte. I just don't feel like spending the $35 on it, and I really like that this one has a little roller ball on it. It's supposed to like deep puff your eyes, so I apply that. Then I move on to treating the lips, and what I have on my lips right now is the Agave Lip Mask by Bite Beauty. You can find this at Sephora. Um, you can find this in the drugstore, the Juice Beauty, little hydrating guy at Sephora and this online only so I apply this onto my lips because they are super super dry this is like the first thing that I do after I brush my teeth and then after that I wait about two minutes and I put my primer on right now I have this little sample jar and I am using the Smashbox photo finish primer that is pore minimizing I love this I really don't like the one by the bomb 
not the balm, Benefit, Benefit Pore Professional or Pore Professional. I don't like that stuff, it's too thick and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like it clogs my pores more than anything. So the one by Smashbox I really like. And after all of that, now I am finally ready to move on to my foundation. So like I said, I like to apply all of that in the morning when I wash my face, I brush my teeth, I apply all that on and then I finally sit down and I could start my makeup application. Now the very first product that we are going to use is from that last video and this is the Aqua Smooth again Buff Beige by CoverGirl. I love this foundation so so much. It gives so much coverage. I have tried so many foundations, high-end and drugstore, and I have found nothing that compares to the amount of coverage that this foundation gives. I'm going to be using the same brush. Actually, no, I think in the last video I used the e.l.f. flat top brush. This time I'm using the Morphe G4. It's a bigger brush and it's more fluffy, so it's not going to give me as much coverage. I don't need a dense brush to give me that much coverage anymore, and I'm not going to be applying this all over my face. I'm going to show you guys how I apply it. I kind of use it just as a concealer where I have a little bit of redness and hyperpigmentation. Next, we're gonna cover these under eye circles. I'm using the same concealer that I used in my last foundation routine. I feel like I keep saying that, but I really am using the same products again, just a little bit differently. So I'm going to apply this right on my dark circles. And again, I like to let it sit for about 20 seconds before I go ahead and blend and buff it out. I also use it on my eyelids instead of an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna go in with my Morphe G2 brush to just buff it out and then I'm going to set it with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Transparent. Okay, and now is where the new star of the show kicks in, what I went back to. You guys know, my longtime viewers know that I used to have an obsession and a true love affair with powder foundation because it is so simple and easy. I cannot wait until I get to the point where I don't have to pre-conceal and I can just jump straight to the powder foundation. I'm not there quite yet, but if you have okay skin or good skin, you could totally skip the foundation or the concealer beforehand. So what I'm going to be using now is a powder foundation. This is something that I have featured on my channel before. I'm gonna have the link to the review on this product down below. This is the Mineral Wear Talc Free Mineral Face Powder in the shade Creamy Natural by Physicians Formula. And this is what it looks like. It's a very, very high coverage powder foundation. And I'm going to be using it in combination with one of my favorite sponges to apply powder. This is called the Flop Sponge by Jane Iredale and you can find this online. And what I like to do is get the entire sponge packed with that powder and then pat it all over my face. This is going to kick up the coverage even more and make my foundation or my concealer or all my face makeup last all day long. All right, and you guys can see that I did go ahead and apply that everywhere. Another thing that I love about this powder is that it really blurs out my pores even more. I will say that it does not control oil very well, but since I don't have a lot of oil breakthrough anymore, that's not really something that I have to worry about. I just love this stuff because it gives me a little bit more coverage on top of the areas where I didn't apply the CoverGirl Aqua Smooth. I feel like it just evens everything out, it sets my makeup, and it's just like a flawless airbrush look. But with that being said, as you guys can see right now, my face is entirely too light for the rest of my body. I did get a tan over the weekend, so I definitely have to fix that. So what I'm going to do next is move on to my bronzer. I'm gonna be using the Contour Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and you can find this at Sephora. The Physician's Formula, obviously, you can find at CVS or any drugstore in the Flux Sponge again online. I will post it down below. So I'm just gonna take a combination of the two outside shades and a Sigma F40 brush and just warm up my skin a little bit. And we're gonna start with this big old forehead, this five head going on. After that, I'm going to move on to the temples. Sculpt out my cheekbones. Jawline and then very lightly on the sides of my nose. 
the very last but not least, we're going to be moving on to blush and highlight. How absolutely gorgeous is this blush? This is by Milani. It is called Bellissimo Bronze. And I love this shade so much. I'm going to take the same exact um, angled brush right here and apply this kind of on the apples of my cheeks, working my way back. Oh my god. I am so freaking in love with this blush. I hope that you guys can see it on camera. It's so gorgeous. It just has the perfect amount of sheen. Oh, okay. Really though? Really though. This is definitely one of those blushes that does not need to be paired with a highlighter, but you guys know me. I cannot leave the house without my highlight, and you guys know what highlight I'm going to use. Yes, my Mary Luminizer by The Bomb. It is broken, it is shattered, it has been broken. I'm just too lazy to fix it, um, you know, with alcohol and press it down just because. I'm just a lazy person. That's okay, it still works just as good. So I'm gonna put this on the tops of my cheekbones to give a little bit of a sheen. And also down the bridge of my nose and a little bit in the center of my forehead. You guys know I'm all about that glow light. And then finally, I'm going to set everything with my Smashbox Primer Water. This can be used both before your makeup and after. I'm just going to apply a good amount to get that powdery, cakey look because of the powder foundation to kind of look a lot more natural and glowy because you don't want it to look obvious like makeup on your face and I really feel like this gets rid of that powdery look that powder foundation leaves behind. So this is the finished look. This is what my foundation looks like on a daily basis. And I'm going to go and finish up my eyes and my lips and I will be right back. Alright guys, and the rest of my face is on, and again, this is what I do every single day as my foundation routine. I am trying so hard and hoping and praying that my skin will get so clear to the point where there's no hyperpigmentation, there's no redness, there's no unevenness, and I don't even have to use a foundation or a concealer underneath the powder and go back to just using a powder foundation because that is like one of my most favorite things to do, especially in the summertime. I just don't really like the feeling of makeup on my face, and I feel like a powder foundation is so quick and easy and you could do it and be out the door one, two, three. So anyway, my skin is not to that point just yet, but again, I can't really complain because it has absolutely been transformed and I am so, so, so happy with my results. Make sure to stay tuned to my Accutane updates. I did mention in my last update video that I'm not allowed to have Accutane in the title because YouTube flags it and then takes it down. So I will be naming them my How I Cleared My Acne series or something like that. You guys will see something in the title that will let you know it's about my acne and how I got rid of it. So make sure to stay tuned to that series. And that is pretty much it. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know down below. I will also post everything that I use down below in case you guys missed it, and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Love you, bye.